Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you how to make these beautiful crystal flower earrings. Here I use rondelles of also called faceted crystals and a pearl and you could see down in description links where you could buy them. They are not difficult to find and I will show you step by step so I'm sure by the end of this tutorial you're gonna be able to make them by yourself even if you are a beginner. Okay, so if you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and also hit the bell button and in this way you will know when I make matching jewelry to the ones that I have already done and you will be able to make beautiful sets for presents or for yourself. And down there in description you will find a full list of materials, links where you could buy supplies from, link to my store and link for PayPal donations to develop this channel. Thank you so much for watching, now I will start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using for this video are two colors of 11 o seed beads, golden and red. And here I use faceted crystals, also called rondelles. They are 4 by 6 millimeters. Here I use 8 millimeter pearls. These are ear wires in this beautiful old gold color. And this is monofilament that is 0 0.006 inches or 0 0.15 millimeters. You could use 0.14 or 0.16, it doesn't matter that much. Here I use size 10 beading needle, scissors and pliers. The pliers are not obligatory, only if you need to go through the difficult beads. And now I'm going to take about 3 feet of thread on my needle, which is 90 centimeters, and I'll be back. Okay guys, and I'm back, and what I want to do here is take one of my pearls go through it, slide it down and leave a small tail after that. And in my next step I'm going to take 10 golden beads. Okay guys, and, and what I have on my needle are 10 golden beads. And I will hold my tail thread and go back through my pearl. And now guys, I have this, okay? Now I will flip my work, still holding my tail thread, and I'm going to repeat this. I'm, I'm going to take 10 more golden beads. Okay, I have the same thing here, 10 beads. And I will go back through my pearl. Okay, just like this, okay, still holding my tail thread. Now guys, I will go through all of those beads here in this direction, through all of those 10 beads. Okay, here I will stick my needle in my mat and I want to make a knot. And I'm making my knot by making here a loop and going with my tail thread twice through the loop I've made. Okay. Then I pull and I want to make one, just one more knot. And I pull again. Then guys, what I want to do is go through my pearl and when I pull my knot hides inside this pearl okay then I want to go through all of my beads in this direction one more time okay going here I want to connect them in one circle. And what I do here is that I add only one more seed bead. Okay. And now guys, I'm here. 
and I have 21 beads in total around my 8mm pearls. In my previous work I added 20 beads, but I think 21 is not a problem. Okay, and now I'm going to take two seed beads, a crystal, and then two seed beads as well. Okay, and I will go back here through this bead that I'm exiting out of. Okay. Now I have this. Now guys, what I do is that I go through three more seed beads in this direction. One, two, three beads, okay? And I pull tight. And I will take two seed beads, a crystal and two seed beads, okay? This is what I have. And I'm going back through this bead here that I'm exiting out of. I have the same thing here. Okay. In my next step, what I want to do is go through the following three beads. Okay. Exiting here. Now I will take again two seed beads, a rondelle, and then again two seed beads. And I will go back here through this bead that I'm exiting out of. Okay. Then go through three beads and repeat this. And I'm going to repeat this until the end of this row. It means four more times. I will have seven crystals in total attached here. And I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay guys, and I'm here at my last seven step and I'm going around through this last golden bead like this. Now I have this and what I do next is that I want to go through those two golden beads in this direction. Okay and exit here and I pull tight. I want everything to be nice and tight. Okay, and I'm going to take one red bead. I'm going through the other golden, just like this. And then back through the first gold. Okay, now this is what I have. Then I'm going here through this crystal and through the following golden. Okay. Like this. Then I go through this golden in this direction, you see. I take one red bead and I go back in circle through those two golden beads okay and i pull okay then i go through the crystal and through the following two goldens okay first through one of them and then through the second one I'm taking just one red bead and I'm going back through these two beads again. If you can do this in one movement, if not, do this in two or more movements, okay? Okay, then again the same thing. Okay, and I think you get the idea. And you will be able to do this by yourself until the end of this row. And when I'm ready, I'll be back to tell you how to continue with your work. Okay, do this three more times and meet me. Okay, guys, and I just added my last red bead from this row. And what I want to do is go through this crystal. And then I prefer to flip my work 
in this direction. By the way, you could have done it with the previous row if you want. Okay, and now what I want to take is one golden bead. Okay, then I'm going to take three more goldens like this. Go back through this red one and add one more golden here. Okay, now this is what I have. Take one golden. Don't worry, it bends and moves. We'll fix it in the last row. Take three goldens. Okay, go back through this golden. Take just one golden. Exit through the crystal. Again, one golden, go through this red, three goldens, go back in circle through this red, forming something like a loop here, you see, like a loop of beads. Go through the crystal. Okay. And I will show you one more time and let you do this by yourself until the end of this row. Okay guys, and I will continue doing this until the end of this row and then I'll be back to tell you how to finish your work. Okay guys, and as I continue beading, this is what I have. I just attached my last bead from this row and what I want to do next is make an additional reinforcement and make my work stay nice and tight and in a beautiful shape not moving around okay and in order to do this I'm making this additional thread path going around through all of those beads as shown Okay guys, and I will continue doing this until the end of this row and I'll be back to tell you how to attach your ear wire. Okay guys, and as I continue this, this is what I have. All my beads stay in a nice shape. And what I want to do is go here in this so-called flower. And here I will attach my ear wire. And I'm going to take a red seed bead, an ear wire and a red seed bead. Okay, this is what I have on my needle. And I will go back in circle through this golden bead here. Okay, now this is what I have. And I need to reinforce this. Okay guys, now I'm here where I want to make a knot and cut my thread. Okay, and I'm making my knot by making here a loop going twice through the loop I made, pull. Then after that I might repeat this knot several more times. Again make a loop go once go second time through this loop you've made make sure you're between those two beads where you started your knot from and when you repeat this knot several times go through the following seed bead just like this and then cut your thread as close as possible to your work if you need, use your zippers, okay? 
and now my crystal flower earring is ready okay guys and now my crystal flower earrings are ready so if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos for fresh bidding ideas and you could also like share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action and if you make beautiful jewelries following my tutorials please share them on my facebook page that i posted below this video i will be so happy to see your creations down there in description you will find a full list of materials links where you could buy supplies from link to my store and link for paypal donations to develop this channel thank you so much for watching bye bye from me